My name is Alice Olson and I am a veterinary compounding pharmacist. Veterinary pharmacy is the pharmacy of mixing animals and medicine. It's taking medications to a unique body. Um, we actually have to formulate them for a 10 pound cat and a 1200 pound horse. So it is a very unique world of medicine. We take different flavors and forms unique to the animal's delivery system and um, palates, tastes, a lot of different flavor options. So the biggest part of what a veterinary pharmacist does is compound. We have nothing that is made commercial. And in this particular business, we do have to make everything that is not commercially available. So that's the reason that they come for a veterinary medication. It actually would be for the reasons that the commercial products don't deliver what they need, size. A lot of those are human derived. They haven't been derived for, for pets and, and animals, so they actually end up being compounded. So it's made from scratch, and everything is a stepwise procedure. So I wanted to become a veterinary pharmacist because I wanted to be a veterinarian years ago. I am very, very involved with animals. I work very closely on my own with training. I've had dogs since I was a child and I love animals and pets. The path to this was not as easy as you would think. Granted, it is getting all through pharmacy school and most of it was on the job training. There aren't a lot of facilities or schools that are just veterinary have, have much for veterinary medicine. So I've learned most of it on the job and just kind of came across this job randomly. My favorite part is at the end of the day, I've helped my four-legged friends. Um, they're near and dear to my heart. So it is a world of medicine that is unique and I've learned a lot of different medications that I did not learn in pharmacy school. Most of them can be human, but there are some specific veterinarian medicines. So working closely with veterinarians too is a whole different world. There are different people and a different mindset, and it's really rewarding. The advice I would give any students do really, really good in school anyway, and then um, the path to get to veterinary medicine is a little bit few and far between, but just keep your eyes open, look around, for businesses. Uh, there aren't a lot in the Utah area, but there are a lot across the country, and I think it's opening up more and more. So they would need to just probably do as many electives as are available and check to see if there is rotation sites available.